back to the test prep card channel hope all of you are doing great in your life we are once again back with one more very important video that is going to be national institute of electronics and information technology in aurangabad so it is one of the very good uh, government funded technical institute or gfti in our country so in this video we will be covering in detail all the information about this college we will be covering the indian students aspect as well as the nri candidates aspect in this particular video so let us discuss about the topics which we will be covering so first of all we will be covering the basic overview of this college okay basic introduction then we will be moving to the eligibility criteria that how you can be eligible to appear for this college or to get admission here then we will be discussing about the nri quota or are there any nri seats reserved here then we will be discussing about the reservation for indian candidates uh, then what is the required entrance exam to get admission here then what are the courses which are being offered by this college and at last we will be seeing the cutoffs application process and are there any scholarships available in this video so this video will be not so much long this will be around 8 to 9 minutes but we will try to cover all the important points so if you are aspiring for this college this is going to be a all in one video for you okay so watch the video till last you will be really enjoying it and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing the channel for more such content okay so let us start the video so first of all uh, the basic overview of the college so it is a government funded technical institute or gfti situated in aurangabad okay and it is also known as n i e l i t in short it is also known as n i e l i t it generally focuses on electronic science courses as the name suggests was established in 1987 with a campus area of around 18 acres now the infrastructure of college is also good you will get all the facilities like a well uh, equipped library uh, you will find around 12000 books in the library of this college you will find gym here you will find all the uh, important courts of the sports like basketball court badminton court uh, you, you will get the hostel facilities campus wifi facility so in, is uh, you can say that infrastructure of this college is good okay so this is enough for the uh, brief introduction i guess now let us move to the eligibility criteria of this college uh, how you are eligible uh, or how to know that you are eligible for this college so as the entrance exam uh which is required to get admission here is jee main so first of all you should qualify your jee main examination and apart from this you should have at least 45% marks in your class 12th in your science stream so this is common for all the candidates now talking about the nri candidates uh, the eligibility is almost same but you require some certificates at the time of counseling like passport your class 12th mark sheet Uh, and a certificate issued by the indian embassy uh, in the country wherever you are residing so these are the simple certificate which you require other than this the eligibility is same for indian as well as the nri candidates okay now let us move to one more important topic that what is the nri quota here so yes under dasa or ciwg category seats are specially reserved for nri candidates now how many seats are reserved so a total of 9 seats are specially reserved for the nri students so okay you are aspiring uh, if you are aspiring for this college then 9 seats are reserved for the nri candidates if the nri some of the nri candidates are watching the video okay now talking about the reservation for indian candidates so reservation is normal as the other colleges like uh, 27% seats are reserved for obc 10% for general ews okay Uh, around 15% for scheduled cash and around 7.5% are seats or reserved for scheduled tribes or st candidates so this is the reservation policy for indian candidates now required entrance exam as i have told you earlier is je main there is only one method one way or one source to get admission here and that is je main examination okay now what are the courses offered what are the courses that are being offered under btech in this particular college so there are three major courses which is uh, which is offering your bachelor of technology the first one is electronic system engineering and this is the most famous course here so we'll also be discussing the cutoff of this course afterwards uh, there are three seats reserved for nri candidates in this particular course then manufacturing engineering again three seats for nri in this course also are reserved 
then metallurgical and material science engineering and again three seats are reserved for the nri candidates in this particular course okay so total three courses are present and under which you can pursue your undergraduate or bachelor of technology okay now let us move to the application process of this college so as i have told you earlier the application process will be as same as j main because the entrance exam which is required is j main so let me give you a complete detail to how to get admission here so first of all you should apply for your j main examination okay after applying for j main you will get your admit card after getting your admit card you will be giving your exam j main exam at your specified center then you will be getting your result in which you will be really getting your all india rank okay as well as if you are from a reserved category then you will be getting your uh, category rank also there so after getting that you have to apply for josa counseling okay for indian candidates there is josa counseling and for nri candidates there is separate counseling so you have to apply for uh, that particular counseling and after applying for that counseling you have to fill your choice for this college or whatever branch you are Uh, trying for and then after the counseling results you will be specified you will be getting a particular branch and then you have to uh, report at the college for confirming your seat so this is the particular ad uh, application or admission process i have covered both the things here okay now let us move to the most important topic of this video for which you must be waiting from the starting that is cut off and we will be particularly discussing about the cut off for electronic system engineering because this is the most famous college for which most of the aspirants are aspiring for so the cut off for general category previous year data it is previous year data it can change a little bit but it can give you a target to set so for general the all india rank closing rank was 43000 okay now for other categories i will be discussing about the category rank for general it is all india rank but for other categories like for obc it is obc rank ews it is ews rank like this so for ews category the closing rank was around 12000 okay ews rank for obc it was around 15500 for sc the closing category rank was 8900 and for st candidates if some of you are scheduled tribe candidate then it is it was 4500 it is very low okay the st category rank 4500 means uh the percentile around 70 or 71 percentile which is too low to score in jmain you can easily score so for some of the reserved categories the admission is easy here but for general category the admission uh, for the admission you should have a decent percentile around 96 plus percentile you should score okay 96 or 95 plus percentile then you can get admission here in electronic system engineering okay now uh, this is all for the video Uh, we have one more topic which is scholarship so there are two scholarships available here the first one is sc st pwd based scholarship for these students and female candidates also get some scholarships and second one is income based scholarship if your family annual income is less than 1 lakh rupees per annum from all the sources then you uh, will get your concession in your fee so these are the two scholarships present here okay so if some of the nri candidates are watching this video then test prep card has a nri ebook prepared for you the link is pasted in the description section of this video so i will recommend you then that consider downloading the nri ebook it will be really helpful for you all so uh, move to the description and consider downloading it that's all for the video hope you like the video uh, consider liking the video and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing it okay thanks a lot